Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. Today is from my electronics repair shop, Frank Reiser Video Audio Service in northern New Jersey, USA. I bought a new spectrum analyzer. Another piece for my bench. I have been working on this. Let me show it to you. Made in China. Vulgar Time Radio Kit Using Manual. It's a radio kit made out of China that describes how to make a little radio. I was going to build a radio for my mother and give it to her for her birthday along with a box of marzipan. I wanted... I couldn't find the chip that I ordered that was a complete AM FM radio on one single chip, solder it together myself on copper laden copper laden perf board and then insert it into a project enclosure with potentiometer knobs attached to the enclosure itself so as to form a nice radio. I ran out of time so uh, I couldn't find the uh, chip so her birthday is coming up in a few days so I ordered a kit and it came from China and I uh, found a f couple of uh, one flaw and one thing you need to pay attention to when making this radio kit if you bought it yourself. These are the instructions. They have a schematic. It's based off two integrated circuits for AM and FM radios and biasing those chips with components and an antenna. Here's your AM antenna. The AM antenna fits perfectly well into the circuitry and is soldered in nicely. If you look at the schematic, there is no FM antenna. Here's the uh, switch that powers on the uh, radio and it goes to ground. It is an AM FM radio. Here we see the switch for AM and FM. Be careful when you're ass assembling the kit that you don't go by on the left hand most the number that wouldn't be the component number. The component number is listed in the far right hand corner under position. On the other side it shows a printout of the full side of the PCB and the components. And a general picture of the circuit board as well as steps one, two, three, and four, where you should be at, essentially where you should be um, in the assembly procedure and what it looks like. Now, when making this kit, be careful. A lot of the parts are very small and it comes in bags. And the bags that I got were Ziploc bags, but one was torn at the bottom, and parts were uh, um, had escaped the bag. So I lost some of the parts and had to use some of my own parts. <clears throat> but on the board itself, it says hook up for an FM antenna. Well, this hole for an FM antenna goes nowhere on the circuit board. On the circuit board, it goes nowhere. Here's the circuit board itself. And this hole right there 
represents the antenna, that little one. Notice, it's not connected to anything. That's the FM antenna, but it's just a drill hole through the PCB. It's not connected. There's no FM antenna in the schematic. So what I did was I looked on the schematic and I found where the uh, FM in enters the FM processing chip. And I followed that to capacitor C10. And on capacitor C10, which is there, I added a jumper wire from the capacitor to that hole and screwed in a screw and screwed it tight and added the FM antenna. Otherwise, if you put the kit together, there was no FM antenna attached to the circuitry. The AM antenna is there, but the FM antenna was not. I added larger um, washers to keep my um, speaker attached to the circuit board. So if you're building this kit, you want to pay attention to that. You have to jump a jumper wire from capacitor C10 to the FM antenna in order to incorporate the FM antenna into the circuitry, because otherwise it is not. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, also in his electronic shop, Frank Reiser Video Audio Servicing, reminding you to keep looking down.